we're learning what's going to be happening in the future versus right now and then we're able to teach our instructors who then teach everyone else uh, how to fight those type of battles. I'm Staff Sergeant Joseph Smith and I'm a sensor operator here at the 178th OSS and we fly with the 162nd Attack Squadron. What I do as a sensor operator is I'll control the, the payloads. You have to be able to distinguish like what's going to be the proper camera to effectively scan an area and then how to properly scan an area is what it comes down to. So I have about a thousand combat hours before I got selected for this and I, I went in with 76 instructor hours so I just made the cutoff in order to get to the course. The advanced instructor course we work hand in hand with the weapon school so you'll go down to Nellis and it's about six months long so we'll be trained to train instructors and that's how we'll um, disseminate information that way and it's more effectively. We're, we're selected to go to that course because we're good at our field. So we're not only there to learn, we're also there to develop uh, tactics, technique, and procedures. So working with uh, new aircrafts and how we integrate them in order to effectively beat countries that we're peers with. It's an extremely challenging course. So I ended up total flying over 50 sorties while I was there. And you have three academic blocks that are uh, a week long each. And then you also have um, academics at our our squadron, which was the 26 there, that were MQ-9 specifics. What got me through is like the, the roots of the program and what the program stands for. Of like, we are going to be instructing instructors. So you kind of have to realize that um, it's kind of corny to think about it, but when you're like super tired and you're driving back and you sit in your car and you're like, oh, I have like three or four more hours of mission prep to do, like the purpose of that is to just be better than countries that we're gonna be end up fighting. So that's what really drove me through. And it's like, it's again, a corny way to think about it, but that's what really drove me to push through it. It really hits when you realize how many people are relying on you now.